Dialysis Dialysis is a process through which waste products are artificially removed from the blood to compensate for the presence of an abnormally functioning kidney. In a healthy kidney, waste products, excess fluids and electrolytes such as sodium and potassium are removed from the body in the form of urine. In the case of kidney disease, the loss of kidney function results in the increased accumulation of excess waste, toxins or fluid in the body, thereby causing other complications such as hypertension, heart failure, pulmonary edema, metabolic acidosis and hyperkalemia. Dialysis is performed in the following situations. 1. Acute kidney failure or 2. To remove drugs or poisons from the body. Dialysis could be of two types. 1. Hemodialysis 2. Peritoneal dialysis Hemodialysis This is done with the aid of a dialyzer, which is a machine present outside the body, which removes the toxic substances from the blood. A vascular access site is created by first numbing the area with local anesthesia and creating an arteriovenous graft by connecting one of the arteries with a vein with the help of a plastic tube or an arteriovenous fistula by directly connecting one of the arteries with a vein. Once the graft or fistula has healed, hemodialysis could be performed for the patient. At the start of the process, two needles are inserted into the fistula or graft allowing a circuit to be set up with the dialyzer. Blood flows out of the body into the dialyzer, which consists of filtering fibers that remove waste products and excess fluid from the blood, and a dialysate which acts as an absorbent solution for undesirable substances in the blood. Blood purified in this manner is returned to the body through the tubing into the second needle at the access site. When the hemodialysis session is complete, the needles and tubing are removed and the patient is allowed to return home. Peritoneal dialysis is done using the peritoneal lining of the abdomen without the external removal of blood from the body. A soft catheter is first inserted into the abdomen near the belly button, creating a port through which the dialysate can enter or leave the abdomen. Each session of the peritoneal dialysis is known as an exchange. The abdominal cavity is first filled with the dialysate using the catheter for a period of time determined by the doctor. Through the peritoneal membrane, waste products and excess fluid are continuously drawn out of the blood into the dialysate, which ultimately drains into a disposable collection bag during the exchange.